All right, what's up, guys? This is going to be the last video for today. Um, sometimes I'll shoot like a bunch of videos in one day, but uh, this is pretty much it. A little bit tired. It's about Monday, it's about 4 16. Got a couple other things that needs to be done, but we're going to take a look at this uh, Rocco model real quick by Richmond American Homes. One of my favorite builders. Um, the only reason why I'm saying that is because I love the uh, customer service, love the product, that what you get for your money, I think it's well worth it as far as overall, but there are other builders that I do like to as well. So we're gonna be looking at this uh, Rocco model. And this Rocco right here is uh, 4,010 square feet. The asking price or this base price starting price is 800, 5,900 and fifty dollars it is a four bedrooms three and a half bath three car garage but you do have some options and certain configurations that you can actually do uh, to this home uh, what I like about this builder too is that you'll see it's more of a semi custom and what that means is that you'll have a lot of options that you can do with this build take a look at this now this community has four models the only model that they don't have here I believe is actually the the rider that they don't have now the rider is featured out in onyx point so you can go down to onyx point to check that out if you want or I do have videos on that as well I'll probably put that in the link in the video description below that's if I do not forget now this is definitely one of my favorite models and I do sell a lot of these models to um, clients and I think the reason why is because it has a beautiful next gen. So what that means is it's a built-in casita. So your guests would actually uh, enter through here. Here's the uh, main house. Now, what I'm going to do is something a little bit different here. I'll show you the tray ceilings. But as I come on right into the living room here take a look how gorgeous this is with the coffered ceilings right however I'm gonna start back over here I just wanted to kinda of get you a feel for that so off to the left we have our formal dining area now also with the dining area you do have the tray ceiling too as well with the crown and it looks like they have some wood planks on the top to kind of give it that design now take a look at this one we have an 8 inch baseboards that is killer you have a orange peel texture with a bull nose edging on here now these edging are actually metal so once you ding it you're gonna have to fill it up with putty Look at the uh, flooring here. Look at these uh, plank flooring. This is actually wood. It's gorgeous, huh? So off to the left here, uh, this door would, you could actually shut this door and this would be part of your casita, right? And this is for your guests, for the privacy. So they would actually enter through this main door here, okay? And you can shut this off to the main house. Here we have a thermostat and you have your living room kitchenette. Now it doesn't have a stove or anything like that because it's not zoned for that. However, what you can do is have a crock pot, microwave, whatever you want. This is you know good for your older kids or if you know your parents are gonna live with you. So it looks like we have 10 foot ceilings in here, which is really nice. Here's a bedroom. Now, as far as for all the measurements, I'll have that in the link in the uh, description below here. Now, they do sell this model in Onyx Point, and also they sell these models over there in Southern Highlands. However, the one in Southern Highlands, I forget the name of the uh, community, but they are pretty much sold out already. They may have a standing inventory. I know the models have been sold. Love the uh, tile work with that. 
And the other two videos I did on the other two models were about like 24 minutes. It's just, there was so much to explain with this builder that it just took up so many so much time. So I'm gonna try to be quick with this. Um, plantation shutters are on upgrade. All this would be an upgrade right here. You would have to do the structural, the cabinets, the countertop. I mean, pretty much all this. Now you do have an option. Now, a lot of my clients didn't opt out for this casita. What they did was took out this whole wall, took all this wall out and was one big open room. And a lot of them are turning into a theater room. Here's your office. You do have an option for a bedroom. And this is a little bit bigger than 12 by 12. And also, you do have your uh, one foot uh, tray ceilings with the French doors, which is really nice. Okay. Off to the left here, we have your powder room or your half bath. Love the uh, the cabinets here. Really not my style, but I do like the cabinets. Now you have the uh, quartz. However, with this uh, beveled edge here, uh, that is actually a upgrade. Also, this toilet too as well. Everything you see pretty much on here would be a upgrade. You're probably wondering what is standard. Um, now, one thing I do want to mention with this builder, what comes standard is pretty damn incredible. Now, th these coffered ceilings, right, or waffle ceilings, whatever you want to call it, is an upgrade. With all the lights here, too, is an upgrade. Make sure when you do this, you line up the lights in the center of the um, waffle ceilings. Wow, this is gorgeous. This island right here, like this is such a home to entertain. I can't fit the island inside the, the frame here. So I kind of got to back up a little bit. Now this is not like my style, my color, but I mean this thing looks gorgeous. Now, I believe you have an option to put uh, two dishwashers. I would have put two dishwashers side by side on this one. And you got a farmer sink with a front apron. Uh, this is kind of cool. Okay. Let's take a look at this, some of these pullouts. You already know it's quality. York Tone, I don't, York, um, the Short Tone, I don't know, I haven't heard of that brand, but it's actually solid wood. It's really nice. I don't know if you guys can see, see the color. And look at the two tone, two different colors on the cabinets. I love that. Okay. And I love the, uh, the lights. Look at that. That's just banging. Let's take a look. Kitchen here. Conventional. You got your oven. Oh, you only have one oven. Wow. Okay. I would have did two ovens. Cook countertop. This is definitely an upgrade, especially with the backsplash. 42 uh, upper cabinets with the double stack too as well. Man, there's so much to look at. You got your built-in refrigerator. That is an upgrade. A home this size, I definitely would do something like that because one of your most expensive, most expense on building a home like this is actually the kitchen. And this is where you're going to get a lot of more bang for your buck on your return when you do sell the home. All this right here is an upgrade too as well. And that looks really nice. Also the cabinets on this side. Now what I do like about this one, um, this one actually had two options on the master bedroom. Uh, you do have a master bedroom on this side. Now this configuration is a little bit different from the model at um, at Onyx Point. This would be one whole big bedroom for the master. It would bring it out here and your bathroom would be a lot bigger on this one. Oh, you know what? The whole configuration is completely different. So normally you would have a bigger bathroom would be here and it would take away from that one bedroom right there. So this is not even a master bath, I mean bedroom. Wow, looks nice. Gorgeous, gorgeous, gorgeous.
Oh, look at this backyard real quick. Gorgeous, huh? Gorgeous. Quarter quarter size acre lot looks like. Uh, we got some vinyl windows. Uh, these ones are um, white, bright white. Now with this builder, you do have an option uh, to pick almond too as well. Uh, make sure whatever color you pick, um, it's going to reflect to the interior design of your home and also the color scheme of your paint as well. Okay. All this is an upgrade here. Now, I do prefer this to have one master bedroom. So it looks like this is bedroom is going to share that bathroom right there, the Jack and Jill. So here's a Jack and Jill here. Now, if you ever have a problem with the builder, keep in mind that um, you can um, contact the Nevada Contract Board if you think that they're doing something wrong as far as building something and then they're not building it right. So you have a right to do that too as well. And uh, everybody that does construction has to be licensed by the Nevada Contractors Board. Okay, so here's another bedroom, but I'm going to go ahead and come back out on this side now one thing that they've done here is that they have the pre-plumbed for the electrical okay or pre-wire for the electrical <coughs> I definitely would have put more lights on here now one of the options here is this kind of very unique looks like they put the cable outlet here but the way that this room was configured it looks like you would have to put the TV here and watch it on the side. So I don't know where you would probably put the TV. Probably put the TV here with the swivel or maybe put the TV here. Or would you just take your uh, bed and move it right here or take your bed and move it up on the side? Who knows? But remember, with this builder, you have a lot of options as far as what you can um, pick for electrical, plumbing, and all that stuff. And I think this year I've done probably about 10, I, I think 10 deals already with this builder throughout the Las Vegas Valley. And I think what consumers are starting to realize is just what you get for your money is just uh, unbelievable. And I'm not trying to um, hype up this builder and it's not like a paid sponsorship or anything like that. However, if you would like to pay me, uh, Richmond American Homes, uh, you know, just DM me, let me know. Okay, cool. I mean, look, look at the door casings on here. I mean, they're just quality. Quality. You know what? Before I take you guys out to the master, did I? Did we take a look at this area right here? The pantry. I don't know if we looked at the pantry. Home's so big, I don't remember what we looked at. But anyway... All this right here is your butler's pantry, right? Prep, all that for the dining here. This is a upgrade right here. This is your three car garage. However, we're not gonna go into your three car garage because right now it's just for the contractors and they had made an office out of it. But take a look at this 20 foot slider. Now this slider is actually an aluminum slide. Okay, so you know what's crazy? They let us go out there on the other homes, but not this model. I wanted to show you the backyard, how gorgeous this backyard was, but it is what it is, right? Now let's go into the master. Now the master is separate from others, so as we enter the master here, all this is an upgrade. You can do all that. You have a door right here to the master. Here's your thermostat right up here here's your uh, <clears throat> filters so let's go right into the master I'm gonna see if I can sneak out here if they lock the door on this side 
Man, they need to turn on the AC on this side. All right, so it looks like they locked it, but this kind of gives you a general idea what this uh, back of the house, how big the lots are, and what you can actually do. Now, let's take a look at this. Now, this is a decent sized master here. However, you have so much options that you can do as far as tray ceilings with the crown. I mean, this is just gorgeous. All right, I'm going to come on this side now, see if I can give you a better perspective here. That door right here, <coughs> excuse me, is an option. I definitely would probably add that in. Okay. Let's take a look at the bathroom here. So it looks like it transitions into some nice decorative tile. All this kitchen nook right here, this is all an upgrade from structural to cosmetics. Okay. So we have two closets. We have his and hers down there because his is smaller. So this is going to be his. So as we come in, you have some built ins here. Now, <clears throat> all this right here is all an upgrade. Okay. So, oh, look at that. What do we have right here, guys? What do we have? Actually, remember, actually, look at this shirt right here. YouTube, Chuck, it's actually. So, here's the thing if you actually want this shirt, all you have to do is come to this model and take this shirt off the rack, this is yours. If you want it, you can have it. Just make sure to do one thing. Um, go ahead and take a picture with it and um, tag me in it on my business page. I would really appreciate that. Talking about that, if you haven't subscribed to my Facebook business page, go ahead and do that. I'm trying to get 10,000 uh, subs on that. Also, Again, if you want that shirt, you can also purchase it on the link below. Just click on the link below. Yes, right now, right now, right now. Okay. Going to the bathroom. Whoa. Look at that bathroom. Isn't that gorgeous? So we come up here on a six inch curb. Step up with another one inch here. Uh, this tub right here is a fiberglass tub. Now all this with the tile work and this whole thing right here is definitely going to cost you. However, you have two options I believe on this one. The standard would be about a three, three inch uh, deck that goes all the way across and there's a tub, right, which is really nice. And it comes with the standard tiles and it looks really good. However, if you do the structural here, you can also upgrade on the, uh, the tile on this one too as well. But man, take a look at the work on this thing. Tile all the way up to the top, frameless mirrors. You got your nice quartz, undermounted sink. I mean, this has so much to offer. I mean, look at this. Bam! Kind of pan around. Okay. To the left here, we have your water closet. And to the left, or to the right, to my left now, here is your walk-in mask closet. Now also you have your attic access right there. Okay. Now all this is an upgrade. However, this is also an upgrade too. This door is a structural upgrade, but what I would do is put this door here so that way you can walk right into the laundry room. All oh, this is an upgrade. Upgrade. This waterfall upgrade. So this would be empty. You had a pre plumb. Washer and dryer not included. You can put that. However, at home this size, I definitely would upgrade this. You have your smart box and for your security system. And it comes all the way back around here. <coughs> Excuse me. To your three car garage. And again, Back to the living room or your family room, entertainment room, whatever you, you guys want to call it. Now, I believe you also have an option to do a fireplace. Now, at Onyx Point, at that time, we couldn't do a fireplace for a client, but uh, now they are building a fireplace. Now, let me know in the, uh, the comments below. Matter of fact, let's have a seat right here real quick. Ugh. Ugh. If you guys have not subscribed to this channel, I would highly recommend that you subscribe to this channel. I'm trying to upload as much as videos as I can. Um, the other thing is Facebook, very important. 
trying to hit over 10,000 subs on there. So I really need your guys' help uh, to get 10,000 subs. Uh, if you have not subscribed to this channel, go ahead and hit that subscribe button. Also, give me a thumbs up too as well if you do like this content. Other than that, thank you so much for tuning in. I'm Chuck. It's Chris Watt with Simply Vegas. And have a blessed day.